on this Friday morning. Of course, cycling is quite a big thing here in West Yorkshire now. We've got the Tour de France coming to us next year. Very exciting that's going to be. But there is a serious side to cycling too. And in fact, there's a group of cycling cyclists. They're called the Dean Riders. They're uh, a Muslim group of cyclists and they're going to be raising money here in Bradford tomorrow for um, people affected by the Syrian crisis. Really pleased to be joined by Jamal Richards on the phone who's going to tell us more about that. Good morning, Jamal. Hi, how are you doing, Peggy? You okay? I'm very well, thank you. How are you this morning? I'm really well, thanks very much. Um, I'm hope I'm not, um, I haven't caused uh, some, someone being misled because we're not actually cyclists, we're bikers. That's me. That's my fault. You're right. You are bikers. You see, I'm so we're so obsessed with cycling here in West Yorkshire at the moment okay. because of the Tour de France that I've missed. Because in fact, I've got your website open, and you're right. Everybody's yes. on motorbikes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I don't mind riding to Bradford from uh, London on a bicycle, but I'm just going to take to get there. Yeah. <laughs> so I was going to ask whereabouts you are at the moment because you're coming to Bradford tomorrow for an event. We are. Yes. Yeah. Tell yes, us a bit. Um, tell us a bit about that tomorrow. Okay, so basically what's happened is um, we have been doing a few of these um, sponsored um, rides. Um, we've been featured on uh, TV channels as well. Um, and then we had an invite to come to Bradford. Um, so we're, we're doing now a challenge which is called the, um, it's going to be four cities basically. So we're going to, um, from London we're going to go to uh, Bradford. Uh, we'll be um, visiting the, I think it's called the Hidmat Centre. Which, yeah, that's um, right, Hidmat Centre, yep. Yeah, and um, we'll be there from uh, 12 o'clock until 2pm. How many um, of you will there be, Jamal? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, I think probably somewhere between 20 to 30 um, bikers. Uh, it's going to be really good. We're hoping for good weather. Uh, our, um, uh, one of our uh, men in, the, in Bradford, uh, Mehtab, he's really been excellent in putting it all together. Um, you know, and uh, obviously we have quite a few people coming down, so that should be a really, really good day. We're hoping to do a bit of a, you know, something on the outdoors as well. Um, but obviously, you know, you can come along and visit us at the um, Kidmont Centre uh -huh. at 12 o'clock. Um, then from there, we're going to go to um, Nottingham, uh, and then from Nottingham to Luton, and then Luton back to London. So it's going to be quite a long ride. So, um, and, and um, where, where's the kind of idea come from this? Because tell us a bit about Dean Riders. You are a new Muslim Bikers Association, and you've been formed to yes. bring bikers together from around the UK and international. But you don't have to be a Muslim to be part of Dean Riders, is that right? No. Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely correct, yeah. I mean, basically what it is, it's, um, you know, we... We're, we're, we're bikers, we're Muslims, we, we um, used to go out just for your Sunday morning rides the same way that all bikers do. Um, however, what we've, we found was that, you know what, you know, we should really be doing a bit more with um, this passion that we have. Um, you know, so, you know, myself and two partners, um, Salim and Basama, um, you know, we thought, you know what, let's, let's start something where we can actually put some good use to this passion. Uh, and then Dean Riders was born um, as a result of that conversation. Um, and it's just been really good. So basically what we do is we, we essentially we use this joint shared passion to work with charities to help raise awareness for, you know, the, the things that they're, they're um, the work they're doing, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, and are it's people been amazing. Are people surprised um, that there will be a Muslim Bikers Association? Uh, yeah, we get uh, people from all over the world that are just really, really pleasantly surprised. We have people approaching us. Uh, we normally hang out uh, at uh, the Beaconsfield Services. It's a motorway <laughs> services. And, uh, you know, we have people coming over to us and going, are you guys all Muslims, yeah? And we said, yeah, essentially we're, most, we're mostly Muslims. And, you know, we have, like, fantastic conversation. We really do love that location. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so people are pleasantly surprised by it. And, and do you um, think through that you're able to kind of help educate quite a few people who maybe don't know enough about Islam or about being Muslim? Yeah, I mean, because obviously it does, uh, in the conversation it comes out and, um, you know, then it's really great because I think it just turns out to be a wonderful conversation where at the end of it they walk away having a better understanding of us, who we are, and uh, about Islam and, um, you know, it's, it's just an amazing experience all around, you know. Um, we, we did a sponsored ride for the homeless uh, back in June and it was a 24-hour ride like from um, Cumbria, the Lake District, 
uh, and there was an elderly um, English couple that we met at the service station. Mm-hmm. We had the most amazing conversation that you can even dream of. They actually donated some money for us as well. Um, I sat with them, and I had just a great time just to, for, for them. I don't think they'd ever felt as comfortable as they had um, around Muslims before in their lives, and so it was beautiful. Fabulous. It really, really was. So, yeah. you, so, so you're trying to, you, you're, using that, you're using the fact you're having a great time, and you're also trying to raise money for a very, very sad, serious situation Absolutely. in Syria. Absolutely, yes, thanks for mentioning, reminding me about that. I mean, obviously, in Syria, as you've seen, it's really bad. And what really breaks my heart is the fact that it started off with, um, you know, indiscriminate killing of, like, innocent people in Syria by the government. And then when we had this um, situation with the chemical, um, uh, the, the, the um, I forgot what it's called now, the... The, um, the, the sar- sarin gas. Sarin, sarin gas. Uh, sarin gas. Yeah. When we saw this, then the world started to pay attention a bit more, and they said, look, this, we can't have this, we have to stop this. So then it was a case of, right, we're coming into action to deal with this. Uh, then it was a, then they said, okay, you know what, we're not going to use it anymore. And what it seems like, Peggy, is that, that the world just sort of said, oh, okay, that's fine, and you can just go back to your normal killing then. You know, this is really not acceptable, and... Um, you know, we want to raise awareness. We want everyone to understand that what happens in Syria, it happens to all of us in, in, in a way because, you know, we are all brothers and sisters in humanity. So when you think about, you know, what it's like for someone to lose their life, to lose their home, to lose their families, mm-hmm. and you try to sort of um, put yourself in those um, boots, and that's what fact you really should put yourself in those shoes, and then you, you, you know how it would break you apart if it happened to you. Because, of course, the numbers are huge, aren't they? Six million people in yeah. the same two million refugees yes. yes yes and you know this is why these uh, we, we have a convoy going on the 7th of um, october with um about four ambulances which we've um, raised money for um oh, so it's you know, really practical stuff that you're sending over there then practical yes yeah. yeah yes medical it's, essentially it's medical aid um you know and i'm sure that we you know we have like um uh, a space for one or two people if they wanted to come along okay. on this convoy they'd be more than welcome to come along and actually um you know it, again they could experience it for themselves in terms of seeing it with their own eyes and then they can come back and help to you know to relay that message to so the, f- the rest of the people in the community so the first thing to do if there's someone's interested in that or if they're just interested in coming along either finding yeah. out more about dean riders or donating yes. some money is to come to the kidmat center Kidman on center. saturday Saturday, uh, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, yeah. And there'll yeah. be some, there'll be some things, it's 12 till 2, there'll be some activities till there, two. will there, yeah? yeah? They can meet and people. I certainly, and... uh, yeah, I certainly hope to see you there as well. We'll try and get and up I if we can. Meet. We have another big festival on in Bradford as well this heard, weekend, yeah. so, uh, uh, yeah, so we're all being pulled right. a bit stretched there. But it's the Kidmat Centre at 36 Spencer Road. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, and if people want to find out more, if they can't make it tomorrow, but they want to find out more, how can they find out more about Dean Riders and and about this event, Jamal? Um, okay, Dean Riders, you can get us on our um, website, DeanRiders.com, dot com, or on Facebook, yeah. um, Dean Riders. Um, you know, you can contact me. My numbers on there. You can, uh, you know, you can come and meet us in London or even some of the other cities that we'll be travelling. Or at to. Beaconsfield Services, indeed. Beaconsfield Services, Friday night, <laughs> Friday nights around eight nine o'clock. You know, if I. I told you the list of people that we've met there is just amazing. It's just a wonderful place, and um, you know, so yeah. And could there even maybe be even Northern Branch, so they could meet at like Woolly Edge Services or Hearts Head uh, exactly. that is up up exactly. the Parkway? What's this place? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so that's Dean Riders, D E E N Riders dot com, and they can get hold Correct. of you there. And of course, anyone yep. can contact us here at BCB, and we'll pass on the details. And hopefully, we'll see uh, lots of people up at the Kidmat Centre tomorrow at twelve o'clock. Excellent. Yes, definitely. Look forward to it.